This guide will show you the top 10 best base locations on the new Ark Survival Ascended Scorched Earth map. I will show you the map and GPS coordinates of the best PvP and PvE base locations, and I'll quickly explain the most important features and resources that make each of these the best base locations on ASA Scorched Earth. I've got everything from the best solo starter base locations and hidden PvP rat holes to the best Alpha Tribe large base locations and everything in between, including some of the best unraidable PvP caves that have ever existed in Ark. You can use the chapters in the description to skip around to the base locations you're most interested in, but if you watch them all, I'm sure you will find the perfect new home for you in the new Ark Survival Ascended Scorched Earth map. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and let's get started. This might be the most rich metal deposit on all of Scorched Earth, and it's also got tons of obsidian and crystal, and one of the best hidden PvP base locations in all of the map. So we're gonna start right at 25, 23.3, and look straight down, and you'll notice that there's all these little cracks in the earth, and if you go further down, you're gonna get down to this hidden lake. And inside this hidden lake, you've got tons of obsidian and crystal and metal all around the sides. But if we go further back in here, there's a little corner that you can barely see an opening right over here, and you have to be right on top of it to know it's there. I'm at exactly 24.5, 24.9. And if we head back in here, this is actually a huge little cave opening. And uh, there's one window right here that's really well covered by trees, and another opening over here, but there's a lot of space to move around, and you have to get way down into the canyons to be able to see it, so somebody could be right on top of you and never notice it's there. There is a bunch of dangerous stuff down at the bottom, but as you can see, there's tons of resources all around, and all over the top, it's just covered with metal, like this land bridge right here has probably 30 or 40 metal nodes scattered all around the top here, and uh, this land bridge is a great spot to get metal. It's got a water source right over here that you can put a water tap into, and uh, there's just resources everywhere. This land bridge is right at 25.4, 21.3, and this entire mountain range and this whole valley is just covered in tons of really good resources. We're here on the north side of the River Canyon, and there's a really cool pre-built castle that you can actually move right into, and uh, you don't even have to put more than a door on it. It's got some dangerous stuff nearby, but uh, there's these chambers which can just be moved right into. They are totally buildable, and uh, they've got a pretty good amount of space back here. There's an explorer node in this chamber, and then over here on this side, there's a pretty good-sized building which is actually ready to move in into plenty of space back here and there's a whole courtyard over here that you can build on too and this entire thing is totally covered by this mountain above you so you won't have anything dropping down on top of your base and there's actually water right down here so it's an easy thing to pipe water up to your base and uh, even though it's not a ton of space to build it's a great spot to start out like on your first few days and get yourself established and the exact location of this is 29.9, 53.7. This is probably the most broken and unfair PvP base location in all of Ark. In order to even get to it, there are tons of wyverns in the way, and it is absolutely ridiculous. So, we're gonna start at 58, 17.9 in the wyvern trench, and if you look to the north, there's this land bridge with crystals underneath it, and just a little bit to the south, there's this crystal formation that kind of shapes like a V, and if we go right in the middle of that V, you're gonna find all of these crystals and then right next to the lava is this little opening right here. You're looking for that. The entrance is just about 58.8, 16.7, and there is this tiny little cave. Like, this is really small. Um, and once we get into here, there's plenty of heat, plenty of lava to dehydrate any raiders, and it just keeps going back into these tiny choke points. And there's lots of space to spread out turrets around the other sides of this as people are coming into it and we continue down here there's a lava flow over here and another tiny choke point 
And then we get to water. Yes, this cave has a water source and plenty of room to spread out back here along the river. And there's a massive amount of space back here. This is actually a really cool base location and plenty of light, plenty of places to build. And it just keeps snaking around back here with little tiny hidden chambers. So there is a ton of space and it's incredibly easy to defend with PVP. This might be the single most OP base location for PvP in all of Ark Survival Ascended, and it's an absolutely massive cave suitable for alpha tribes and anything in between. And it's basically an entire underground biome with loot drops and everything. And so we're right here at the base of Red Ob, which is great in its own. And if we look just to the south, you're gonna see this little river that comes out from the rock. And the exact entrance to the water is 73.5, 40.1. Now, if you wanna to get to this base, you've gotta do a lot of diving. And without volumetric fog turned off, it's almost impossible to see back here. But if you follow the light to the crystal and then go all the way to the bottom of this giant glowing crystal, you show up in this huge chamber with a loot crate down here. There's actually a bunch of loot crates back here, but I've not seen a lot of real dangerous creatures. And and it does not seem to have an artifact here, at least at the time of launch. So once we come up from that crystal, you've got this long tunnel that takes you all the way down and then it opens up into an absolutely massive biome. Check this out. This place is huge. It reminds me of the Aberration Zone on Valgaro and there is so much space to spread out. Tons of water, tons of resources, lots of trees, and it is just one of the coolest base locations in all of Ark. Like, look at this. I will show you how to get back out of here because this base location is so big, you need a guide to get out. So if you find this crystal that goes across the gap right here, it's kind of a land bridge, a cool little glowing land bridge, and you follow that to the right, you'll find a three waterfalls right here and this little land bridge that almost reaches the end. And at the middle of that, on the second floor, if you will, is this little glowing cave. And the exact location is 7438.6. And we're going to follow that all the way back, dive back underwater, and then go to the very bottom of this cluster of crystals. Look up, and you'll find this huge crystal leading to the surface, and you just follow that to get back out. Now, of course, you're going to need serious cryopods to get stuff in and out of here, but uh, totally worth it in my opinion. And you might get attacked on your way out. Just beware of stuff like that, which, you know, of course that should be happening. But uh, we're going to pop back out right at Red Ob at 73.6, 40.2. This doesn't look like much, but it's an amazing base location. So we are here, uh, the actual spot is about 32.5, 45.6. And we're at this mountain that's actually right on the edge of this canyon with the river going through it. And this mountain is covered in obsidian, crystal, metal, all kinds of good stuff all over the top of it. But the really cool thing is these little holes right here contain a really cool cave. Check that out. So we've got a pretty good amount of space in here. And if you build just one good size wall right here and another one over here at the end, you can block yourself off really well from any land creatures, and you've got obsidian right here. And uh, you got some really nice views out to the canyons, but it's actually pretty hard to see into this cave and find out that anybody's in here. Now, you will be blocking a lot of really good obsidian that spawns right on your roof if you live here, but there's still plenty more up here higher up on the mountain. And uh, there is one water vein, which is a little bit further to the south. Here's the location of that water vein, 32.2, 48.1. So uh, it's gonna be quite a bit of piping to get into your house if you want water running inside your house, but it is a pretty cool spot and it's an awesome metal outpost. So this is one of the most OP hidden PVP rat holes in all of Scorched and uh, you can see it, right? Yeah, totally can't. So I'm right next to the blue ob and if I look just to the west, you're gonna see this map mountain and you'll see that very tall peak right there. Look directly down from it 
And then uh, just above these palm trees, you'll see a couple trees right here, if you look left and right, and a Joshua tree to your right here. That's kind of the best markers I can give you for this little cave opening. Now, the exact opening here is at 17.5, 30.5. And if we head in here, this is absolutely insane how much space we have. You can barely fit in here and you have to crouch down to get into this little opening. But once we get in here, it's gonna open up like crazy. And now that we finally have cryopods in Ark Survival Ascended, this will be one of the most OP base locations for PVP rat holes in all of Ark Scorched Earth. So you can see here, we've got plenty of room down here. It's buildable. You can actually put a pretty good size base back here. Now, check the comments, because they could end up patching out this uh, rat hole. It's very overpowered for PvP, and uh, if you go to the right, things get a little bit weird. Like, really weird. Now I'm swimming, now it's pitch black. So, uh, yeah, be careful of that, and uh, check the comments to see if uh, people are commenting that this is still working at the time that you decide to, you know, try to move in here, because they could end up patching this. This is day one, and a lot of things end up getting patched. If you are looking for an absolutely massive Alpha Tribe base location, this spot is absolutely huge. There's really just three land entrances. There's two land bridges and then one ramp that goes up to it. And then this entire huge plateau is totally safe to block off. And it's got a lot of flat areas for building, but also some cool slopes. So uh, it'd be a pretty huge area that a PVP tribe could build on. And there's actually plenty of water access right next to the base of it too. And the location here is 43.1, 50.5. Right next to the green ob is one of the most resource intense areas, and that's right at this mountain and set of plateaus right here. So this is loaded with metal, obsidian, crystal, tons of cacti, and lots of trees and everything. Water is close by at the green ob, and uh, there's a bunch of other good resources, including tons of oil. But uh, right here, we've got some ruins right here at the corner, and then a nice little flat plateau where you can build a nice outpost, get a good metal base over here. Right about 5577 is where this spot is, and there's a bunch of other nice little flat areas that you can block off around here. But on top of these mountains, it is absolutely covered in crystal and obsidian all the way across all of these mountain ranges. And the tops of these mountains are great for setting up a flyer outpost, if you don't mind flying down to Green Ob to get your water. And all around here are tons of oil nodes too, like you can see one here, lots of metal around here. And scattered all around all of these mountains is just tons of metal all around here. So uh, right here, is at 58.1, 80.9, and the metal just goes all the way around these mountains, and you can see there's tons of oil nodes scattered all across this plateau over here, too. So just tons of good resources all around, lots more oil over here, and uh, it's right next to Green Ob and all the water and trees. This is another awesome base location. It's got a big plateau, which is relatively flat with just two land bridges on either side to block off and have the entire area to spread out. You've got a water source directly below you so it can easily be piped into water. And this other section of land bridge can easily be blocked off and add that to your base too. And once you've got a flyer just a little bit in this direction, if we're heading just a little south, you're gonna find all of this crystal and obsidian just covering the tops of these plateaus all the way to the south. So it's a great spot once you've got a flyer to get lots of good resources. And the exact location of this spot is 4851.5. Now, the north side of the River Canyon on Scorched has a ton of really good land bridges, and they are very flat. Once you clear out all the resources, they're almost completely flat for building. And uh, there's this explorer note right over here, right at 23.3, 49.1. And just to the north is a good water source. Also, just to the south is another one right up here. And all of these land bridges can be blocked off with just a couple of dino gates, and 
and turn into a really good large base location just to go flat all the way across here. Also, the uh, section over here can easily be blocked off. Got another land bridge right here, and this actually gets red drops that land right on top of it. This land bridge is at 28.6, 51.5, and then just a little bit south of that is this plateau, and there's only a small section right here with a couple of walls that can get your whole plateau blocked off and safe. And uh, you got water right next to you over here. And the location of this one is 31.1, 51.8. You've also got a lot of trees nearby and there's a ramp that'll take you down right next to these ruins. You're actually just above the ruins and then you've got lots of trees and water right below you. This is a really cool two for one base location. So the top has a really nice flat area that's huge for building. It's got awesome views all around it. And then at the base of the waterfall is a cool little hidden cave. And uh, it's actually got a pretty good amount of space down here. And you can easily wall this off and have a very well hidden base that's actually in the water with plenty of water sources. And then on top is a lot of space to build very scenic views, a lot of good resources nearby. And if you build one good size wall on this side, the entire thing is blocked off by walls, as long as you don't mind things falling down on you from above. So you eventually probably want a wall on top too. But this is a really great base location, very versatile. And the exact location is 21.5, 49.2. And it's at the very north side of the River Canyon. Now that's just the first of my top 10 base location guides for the Ark Survival Ascended Scorched Earth map, but there are so many more epic base locations I have not showed you yet. I will make separate guides for the best PvE base locations, the best PvP base locations, and every other type of bases you could possibly need in your adventures on Scorched Earth. If this guide helped you, please give it a thumbs up and drop a comment to let me know which base you choose for your Scorched Earth adventures and how it's going for you so far. I'm also working working on tons of helpful resource guides, taming guides, and other helpful guides to help you survive and thrive in the harsh deserts of ASA Scorched Earth. So make sure you subscribe to this channel and ring that bell for all notifications so you don't miss the next Scorched Earth guide that could change your life. I will also be doing Monarchy Let's Play live streams very soon, and you're not going to want to miss those. So until next time, Happy trails, y'all, and we'll see you in the next video.